I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. And as we follow the moon, one of the things that makes it so enjoyable is having Maggie Mae, our little dog, with us. But traveling with a dog brings a lot of responsibility. It absolutely does. It's really important that we take care of their needs because in our world, they are a part of it. In their world, we are all of it. And it's important that we know what their needs are. We meet those needs and um, make them just as comfortable and it'll make our journey a lot more fun as well. Maggie never used to sleep in our bed till um, our first night of our Jayco. Our very first motor home, she always slept on the floor in the house, but as soon as we got that motor home, she wanted to be in bed with us. That's never changed. It's breakfast time at the Fabers. And breakfast time at the Fabers means Maggie eats first. Absolutely. <laughs> Now we get her food um, through Chewy. Mm -hmm. So we can get her food no matter where we are. It comes right to us. The last time, I think it only took one day to get here. That's right. Now she uses a wet canned food and then... Oh, and then she has a dry cookie and that cleans her teeth. And then after that... Comes a couple pieces of coconut oil little tiny slivers, but that does keep her mouth uh, healthy. Now she'll try to get more out of you. <laughs> and sometimes she's successful. <laughs> yeah. She loves to eat. And we keep, we have a... Uh, there goes the coconut. Yeah, there we go. We have a, a place where we keep her food. It's always consistent. One nice thing about being in an RV no matter where we go, her life is consistent. The food is in the same place, breakfast bowls are in the same place, water bowls in the same place, and we do the same kind of routine. Absolutely. Consistency is a big, big important factor in having your dog with you while you're traveling. Um, their lives don't change just because we're driving down the road. Um, we try to keep uh, her training consistent, her activities, where she keeps, we keep her toys and or where she keeps them, she keeps them about everywhere. Um, Part of that routine, she picks up the foot when it's time to put the foot through the yes. leash. She <laughs> knows the routine. That's right. She helps get herself dressed. Time to go get myself ready. We can go on that walk. She's like, are you ready, Mom? And here it's time to go. This is a big part of Maggie's training. When she gets up here, you're going to notice her setting there. We never let her lead us out. She waits for us and then she's allowed to come out with us. We've heard too many stories of people finding a gator underneath their RV and things like that. We always want That's to be right. the first ones out for her safety. That's right. Now speaking of uh, outside safety, uh, in the yard we keep a long lead that we put her on whenever we're out there. Um, we never let her be out there by herself. It's just not safe, um, whether you've got um, larger animals or um, anything. It's just, it's just how better to keep them um, with you. Now, we do have a little, um, I've been calling it a hammock. I think Doug said it's called actually a chase. And that uh, she can sit on that so it keeps her up out of the grass. We get a lot of fire ants down here and little snakes. I think we already mentioned the snakes before. Yeah, that we always watch where she walks because of the snakes. How many have we found? I know a couple. I was going to say, I think we found either three or four now. And they're usually little. 
If you're not keeping up, she will sit down and wait. Are you actually going to walk with me or are you making me just walk by myself? Oh, and she's also chipped. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, she's also chipped. Now, we have a, a regular vet down here. Now, down here in Central Florida, this is where we used to, to live when we had our, our sticks and bricks. And we've kept the same vet. We're normally down here, at least in the cooler months of the, uh, of the year. So that's when we have her annual uh, vet visit scheduled for. And it works out real good. Now, once we get on the road, we will have to figure out emergencies because that's part of uh, traveling. But we've been very lucky with her. And we also keep her records in with all of our uh, important stuff in, in the, uh, the files. Maggie just had noticed a squirrel down there and took both of us running down there and looking up the tree for it. Seems like once they go up the tree, she doesn't really follow them because she doesn't understand why they go up there. Yeah. <laughs> She's kind of oblivious to them. She'll wander around the tree a couple times like, I wonder where they went. <laughs> she loves the water. And uh, we're taking her out here on the dock this morning. Now, we only take her out on the part of the dock that has the low wooden side rails on it because there are gators in that water and we don't want anything to happen to her. Also, a good idea to keep an eye out for lone fish hooks because they do get cut off every now and then and, and left to, to lay there and neither one of us wants that. That's right. Such a beautiful morning. It was perfect for this walk. Look at how blue that sky is. It's been great that the weather has turned. Finally getting some nice cooler days and nice cool evenings and that's something with uh with dogs too you have to be aware of uh if it's too hot you know they will lay out in the sun and fry themselves and you have to say come on come on back in she loves sitting there watching the water she does but then i do too Maybe that's where she gets it from. Could be. Now she's um, very social, and she wants to visit with anybody or uh, any other dog that we happen upon on our path. And that's something that you have to watch out for, too, because sometimes either the owner or the dog itself is not going to want to be uh, as social as she wants to be. You can tell by the tail. Yes. She is very friendly, very outgoing, and she expects all the other dogs to be that way too. <laughs> Something else you want to watch out for in whenever you're taking a, them out around nature, raccoons, uh, other animals, you know, there's not just dogs, but other animals out in nature that you want to protect your your little one from? If it's a small dog, the uh, the hawks down here are something you need to keep an eye out for too. That's why she has four meals a day, is so that she's too heavy to pick up. <laughs> Keeps her center of gravity a little lower. That's right. Here's a dog that wasn't quite sure if it wanted to visit, but it it was uh, a little aggressive. Here we're back. But that doesn't mean the fun is over. Not at all. <laughs> Got to go for that cookie. That I, I had a big walk. I am starved now. It's only been an hour since I ate breakfast. <laughs> One of the things that people come across with their dogs is they have a tendency to bark. Barking is basically, I'm bored. 
and so you do have to you know we get ourselves uh, caught up in in whatever we're doing watching TV or checking out the electronics editing um, the many things that we do and for her she's just wanting to play so she'll start barking if you aren't paying attention now if we pay her enough attention then she'll go for hours and just um, off to herself I think we lost the ball down there that's one other time that she'll bark is when I want that and I can't get it that's right <laughs> and I'm gonna stand here in the way there's one another one of her favorite games mm -hmm. the bunny has no ears that's the big thing she always goes for the ears There's her toy box. That's especially important for when we're traveling. Uh-oh, I've seen that look before. She says, what's up next? Another important part is grooming. Now some breeds require more grooming than others. Her coat what you see is what you get. She's part Shih Tzu, and this is the length that grows out, but it doesn't grow any longer. So she's never actually had a haircut. And she's five years old, mm -hmm. coming up on it. She has that double coat underneath, so you don't want to try and cut it, the dark part especially. But all of her grooming things are right there in with ours. Mm -hmm. Her special shampoos, her conditioner. But isn't that, that, the little comb is missing. Oh, there it is. She loves this. Yeah, she might act it. like she's, <laughs> she acts like she's bored. <laughs> she will go hide though when she sees the brush and comb come out. One of the things that I do is not just brushing her out, but I'm looking for ticks and I'm looking for um, little stickers like she had the, the... She had a little goat head in her paw the other yeah. day. Yeah. And they are not comfortable. Now all of her bath things are up in there too. We just do her in the shower. Now Maggie has a lot of places for her to lounge and relax in the motorhome. Basically it's 40 feet of Maggie's world. Yeah, we try to keep her comfortable. <laughs> That's one of the newest places she's found. The little ledge behind the lounge sofa, right there at the window, so she can see what's going on. You actually taught her that this summer. It was important. She um, actually got to where she was really stressed out over the rain, and he'd get her up in there, and she'd just sat there and watch, so she realized it wasn't anything that was so terrible. It was just making lots of noise. It does make no more noise in the motorhome. And any spot with sunshine, it's hers. Now speaking of stressors, things that will bother a dog is, is fireworks and uh, beeping sounds. Maggie, nothing sets her off worse than either thunder or the sound of the smoke detector going off. And unfortunately that little GoPro camera, when you turn it on and turn it off, it sounds like a smoke detector to her. We've already talked about the weather, but sometimes new people and other dogs, um, even separation anxiety can uh, cause, cause issues with your dog. Separation, what is that? I think that's when somebody actually leaves their dog at home. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie goes everywhere with us. Very, very seldom is she never, is she not with us. This is our evening walk. 
she wants to be in charge. You can tell the way she's pulling. She said, I'm going this way. I've always heard that you should let them um, do their little smelling of the grass and, and uh, wandering around. Let them just sit and enjoy um, watching the, the people and other things that makes them happy. Especially after the heat of the day, she loves to come out in the evening as it's starting to cool down, spend some time looking, sniffing, just relaxing and taking it all in. Getting to be a dog. If there's any doubt in your mind, this is truly her kingdom, wherever we're at. Now there's that look of stress. So what do we do? There are products available and there are things available that you can use. On the top of that pile is a, a little bottle of Rescue Remedy. Now this is something you can get in a health food store. I think Doug actually ordered it online. It's and, an all uh, natural product. She likes those drops. That little white item is called a happy hoodie. That goes on over their head, around their ears. It's supposed to make them feel comfortable. And the little dress we use instead of a thunder coat. And then this is just a blanket that I folded in half and stitched up like a little sleeping bag. So which one works for us? The sleeping bag. She literally melts in it. No stress at all. That's right. It's time to head back. It's starting to get dark. It's always nice to be uh, heading back home after any outing, whether it's a walk or if we've gone into town or anything like that. If you're a hiker, you might want to have a, a backpack. They make backpacks for dogs. We just cool. actually got one. And more often than not, we'll go to places where there's other people like the farmer's market or into town or whatever. And uh, we've got a little uh, umbrella stroller that we use with her. It's for dogs. But it just keeps her up and out of the way so she doesn't get stepped on and kind of gives us a little bit of control. It's as much for her safety as it is for anything else. You also want to always make sure that you take extra water, food, even those little bags. And if you can't take her with you, if you can't take them with you, we just recently put in the whisper. Absolutely, it's a, a video. In fact, we'll put it up here, a link to it in the in, up above in the top of the video, and uh, it lets you know the temperature, humidity. Uh, we've got auto gen start on our coach, so that if we do lose power and it does get warm, it will turn on the generator, and it will turn on the air conditioner, so she'll be safe and secure. We hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell when you subscribe so you know of our next videos coming up. And where does Maggie ride when she's in the car? The back seat, of course.
Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also, be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.